Well, may the force be with us today because today is the next Funko Pop digital drop and it's for Star Wars. So let's go to get this one started. <music> What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Today's video, we are back with another Funko Pop digital drop. It is Star Wars, as I mentioned earlier. Now, to be completely honest, I was actually not planning to buy packs initially, but honestly, I've been having such a bad itch for ripping open packs. I love the joy of pulling redeemables. Unfortunately, some past sets that I really did like, like Harry Potter, the packs have gotten way too expensive. So now, let's just do Star Wars. I do love Star Wars, and the redeemables for the set could have been way better. However, I do really like the digital cards for the set. So why not take our chances, get the cards for the collection, and possibly even pull some redeemables. So, let's take a look at this drop. Over here, you guys can see Series 1 star wars drop exclusive basically what that means you could only get the cards in the secondary market on drop marketplace you cannot transfer these anywhere else like atomic cup pretty much but you can still buy packs as normal if you join the queue by the time i post this video though the queue will pretty much be ended so in the center over here you have the grill luke skywalker looks pretty cool i actually do like it a lot the back some of the cards oh man the cards are absolutely phenomenal so as always, we have two types of packs. Standards, $9.99 with five cards, 35,000 available. Premiums, $29.99, 17 cards, 30,000 available. That is a lot of packs, but here are all six of the redeemables you can get for this collection. First up, we have the Grail Luke Skywalker, limited to 1,980 pieces. I actually really like this one, but that is a lot of grails so pretty much the 1980 comes from the year empire strikes backs released but that's just almost double what we usually have for the grail piece counts next we have our first legendary c3po limited to 3000 not that exciting but the card is pretty cool once again i really like all the cards in this entire set and then moving on we have darth vader and i love that he's missing the arm but this one's card is just epic i need this card this is definitely my favorite card in the entire collection. Despite the grail, this one's just awesome. And then we have Emperor Palpatine up next. This one's really close to what we've had as a common pop as well as the Hot Topic exclusive. But the card, once again, is just absolutely phenomenal. Next, we have Han Solo. This one's actually my favorite of the legendaries. I just really like that one. It's pretty different than what we have for his common Han Solo Carbonite pop. And then once again, the NFT is really cool. I just really like the cards. Honestly, that's probably the main reason I even bought packs, but I love the fact that I could even pull redeemables. And then we have our Royalty Princess Leia, limited 3,300 pieces. Glow in the dark, it's just that saber in the back. I would have loved if they gave our first Franny Funko as Princess Leia for this drop. So for this drop, I actually got eight premium packs, as you guys can see over here. I got eight because Star Wars is eight letters, and, you know, I don't want to go too crazy on this drop, but... I thought we'd have some fun here. Let's see how this goes with our very first pack of the day. We have a volume on. First pack open. I wonder if they did anything fun here. Nope, just the basic stuff. I really like the backside of the cards as well. All right, let's go ahead and reveal our first one. Oh, we start off with a series coin. I'm digging that coin, that's amazing. All right, then we have a rare Darth Vader. See, I love that sabers right there in the front. Then we have a rare C-3PO. Looks like they did that with all of them. Then we have a common Vader. Nope. All right. A rare Obi-Wan Kenobi. That one has the sabers. Rare C-3PO. Common R2-D2. So maybe not the commons have the sabers. Common Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. All right. Epic Darth Vader. Yes. All right. That's cool. Then we have Epic Boba Fett. <laughs> they should have given him Boba Fett. All right. Uncommon C-3PO. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Then we have Uncommon C-3PO. We have Epic C-3PO. We have Rare Boba Fett. Uncommon Han Solo. Epic Obi-Wan Kenobi. And finish off with Common Emperor Palpatine. All right, we got a couple of Epics. We got a series coin. Not too bad. Let's move on to our next pack. All right, all right, let's reveal. We got another coin. I'll take coins, I love them. 
All right, we got an uncommon C-3PO. We have an uncommon Luke Skywalker. That's a cool card again. That's really cool. Uncommon Princess Leia. Common Princess Leia. Common Stormtrooper. Common Han Solo. Uncommon Stormtrooper. Rare Princess Leia. Uncommon Princess Leia. Common Luke Skywalker. Common Yoda. Oh, that's a different mold. Rare Yoda. I don't think we have that pop. Common Lando. Common Darth Vader. Common C-3PO. Uncommon C-3PO. And finish off with Rare Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay. Two packs down. Move on to the next. I wish they added like the Star Wars theme in the background or something. Would have been really fun. They stopped doing that. I don't know why. All right. Reveal. Uncommon Vader. Common Princess Leia. Common Chewbacca. Common Princess Leia. Uncommon Vader. Mint 11. Would have been cool as a one. All right. Rare C-3PO. Rare Boba Fett. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Uncommon Stormtrooper. Rare Princess Leia. Uncommon Boba Fett. Epic Jabba the Hutt. That's a cool one. <laughs> Alright, Common C-3PO. Uncommon Greedo. Rare R2-D2. Common R2-D2. Finish off with Rare Yoda. Still no redeemables pulled, which is kind of crazy. I thought we would have had a lot of redeemables because of how many are out there. But there's a lot of packs too, so I don't know what exactly are the percentage chances of pulling them, but we have not pulled any yet. Reveal. We got another coin, though. I love the coins. I'll take them all. All right, we got Uncommon Emperor Palpatine. We have a Common Boba Fett. Then we have Uncommon Jabba the Hutt. Common Obi-Wan Kenobi. Common Emperor Palpatine. Then we have Uncommon R2-D2. Common Darth Vader. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Uncommon Princess Leia. Rare C-3PO. Yes! We have a legendary Darth Vader. That's the one I really wanted the card for. So that's definitely one I'm happy to pull. That's such a cool card. Oh, man. All right. Common Darth Vader. Epic Boba Fett. Common Greedo. Rare R2-D2. Epic Chewbacca. And then we have our last card, Common Princess Leia. All right. That's not a bad pack. We got one redeemable so far. Four more to go. Woo! All right. Let's go ahead and reveal. We got a rare Princess Leia. No coin that time. All right. Then we have a common Jabba the Hutt. Common Princess Leia. Common Princess Leia again. Uncommon Stormtrooper. Epic Stormtrooper. I think we got that epic, right? Rare Chewbacca. There's a lot of epics in the set, by the way. Rare Princess Leia. Common Boba Fett. Common C-3PO. Common Chewbacca. Common Stormtrooper. Common Han Solo. Common Obi-Wan Kenobi. Common Luke Skywalker. Rare C-3PO. And finish off with Common Jabba the Hutt. Three more to go. Alright, open. Alright, let's go to reveal. We got an epic Darth Vader starting it off. Then we have a common Emperor Palpatine. We have a common Wicket. Common Emperor Palpatine again. Common Darth Vader. Rare Wicket. Rare R2-D2. Uncommon Yoda. Uncommon Darth Vader. Common Stormtrooper. Uncommon Darth Vader. Common Lando. Rare Emperor Palpatine. Common Obi-Wan Kenobi. Common Emperor Palpatine. Common Chewbacca. 
common job at a hut. All right. Two left. We only hit one redeemable out of six packs. A lot harder than I thought. All right. Rivet. Yes, we got another series coin. <laughs> All right. Then we have an uncommon C-3PO. We have a common Emperor Palpatine. We have an uncommon Darth Vader. Common R2-D2. Common R2-D2. Uncommon C-3PO. Rare Stormtrooper. Common Emperor Palpatine. Common Han Solo. Common Greedo. Rare Darth Vader. Common Princess Leia. Common C-3PO. Epic Princess Leia. That's a cool card. Common Luke Skywalker. Common Princess Leia. And Uncommon Vader. So we only have one pack left. See how this goes. And then I'll decide if I want more packs. Reveal. Alright, we got an epic job at the hut. Then we have a common Chewbacca. Epic Chewbacca. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Epic Stormtrooper. Three epics. Common Luke Skywalker. Uncommon Princess Leia. Oh, we have a legendary on Solo. I'm happy with that one. We got two of the legendaries I like the most. So I'm definitely happy with that. Then we have a common C-3PO. We have a common Princess Leia. Rare Princess Leia. Rare C-3PO. Rare Stormtrooper. Common Jabba the Hutt. Rare Chewbacca. Uncommon Emperor Palpatine. Last card is... Uncommon job at a hut. All right, so let's see where we're at. Redemption Tracker. As you guys can see, packs are still available right now as I'm recording. Two legendaries pulled. We are 69.61% for the royalty set. We're missing seven commons. That's 37 commons total. We're missing eight uncommons with 28 total. Then we are missing eight rares with 21 total. And then epics, we're missing eight with 16 total cards. That is a lot of epics. Now, legendary wise, we're missing C3PO. We did pull Darth Vader. We're missing Emperor Palpatine. We did pull Han Solo. And we're also still missing that Grail. All right, so I'm about to buy four more premium packs right now. As you guys can see, that is a total of $123.56. So just imagine how much I usually spend for these Funko Pop digital drops. So please, if you guys do enjoy content like this, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join in on the fun, show your support. We have four packs. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, waiting on the blockchain. Please try again soon. Let's try again. All right, maybe I got to give it a little bit of time. Let's go cancel and then... Uh, Let's just wait a little bit. All right, let's try now. <laughs> All right, open. There you go. All right. Reveal. All right, we got a common Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then we have a common Han Solo. We have an uncommon C-3PO. We have a common Wicket. We have an uncommon Darth Vader. We have a common Boba Fett. We also have a common C-3PO. We have a rare Emperor Palpatine. We have an uncommon Darth Vader. Then we have a common Princess Leia. We also have a rare Lando. We have a rare Emperor Palpatine. Then we have an uncommon Stormtrooper. We also have an uncommon Greedo. Then we have a common Stormtrooper. Epic C-3PO. And last card is... Uncommon Emperor Palpatine. All right, let's keep going. Three packs left. All right, reveal. All right, we got a rare C-3PO. Then we have a common Lando. We have an uncommon Emperor Palpatine. We have a rare Obi-Wan Kenobi. Common Chewbacca. Uncommon C-3PO. Then we have Uncommon C-3PO. We have Uncommon Chewbacca. Common Lando. Rare Princess Leia. 
Common Han Solo, Common Greedo, Rare Princess Leia, Uncommon Chewbacca, Common Emperor Palpatine. Yes, we have another legendary Han Solo. All right, I was getting a little worried right there, but we did get another legendary. Then we have Uncommon Boba Fett. All right, two more to go. Let's hope we get another one. The more I'm seeing the royalty, it's not that bad. It's just, I would have loved a Freddy though. Uncommon Jabba the Hutt. Uncommon Princess Leia. Uncommon Han Solo. Common Greedo. Common Darth Vader. Common Stormtrooper. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Rare Obi-Wan Kenobi. Rare Chewbacca. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Common Jabba the Hutt. Common Wicket, Common Yoda, Common Han Solo, Rare Obi-Wan Kenobi, Uncommon Darth Vader, and then Epic Greedo. I don't know if we have that Greedo yet, but let's go to this last pack. Alright, reveal. Alright, we got a Rare C-3PO. We have a common Luke Skywalker, common Obi-Wan Kenobi, uncommon Emperor Palpatine, epic Luke Skywalker, common Princess Leia, rare Darth Vader, uncommon Darth Vader, rare Boba Fett, rare C-3PO, common C-3PO, common Emperor Palpatine, common Princess Leia, Epic Wicket, Rare Boba Fett, Common Darth Vader, and a Rare R2-D2. Alright, so we open up, what is that, 12 packs? We only got three Legendaries. We are 84.31% for the Royalty. We're still missing two Commons. We're missing five Uncommons. We're missing four Rares. We're missing five Epics. We got some Doubles. Definitely could get that completed. And then we are still missing Legendary C-3PO. We are still missing Legendary Emperor Palpatine. We got two Han Solos and one Vader. And of course, we still have no Grail. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a high price on that one. So currently, value-wise, I'm actually not doing too good. I've opened up 12 premium packs. I only pulled three redeemable Legendaries. And honestly, the set, the Legendaries are going for very low prices. Which honestly, it does make sense. Because for the most part, when it comes to 6-inch Deluxe Funko Pops for Star Wars, they always end up going on sale. Whether it's exclusive to Amazon, GameStop, or whatever else it could be. They just never really sell out. Despite how cool the molds could be sometimes, honestly, a lot of people are picky when it comes to the bigger size Funko Pops, especially when they have a big collection like myself and it's hard to make room for those pops. But these pops are limited pieces. I know they're a lot higher than most of the past Funko Pop digital sets, but it's Star Wars and I think Funko just want to make a bigger piece count for this set considering they know that it's a popular line and they didn't want people to miss out on these but unfortunately, the Redeemables were not the greatest choices. However, I love Star Wars. I miss ripping open packs. I love the digital cards for the set. I didn't want to miss out on the fun. So that's why today I decided to rip open packs. And I'm definitely having a lot of fun today. So another thing I want to talk about though, in case you guys don't know this, which I hope you already do, when it does come to rip and open Funko Pop digital packs, just remember it is all pretty much luck of the draw. Never go in with the mindset thinking that you're going to pull anything. Always go in with the mindset that you might lose money and just spend an amount that you're willing to lose. And that makes it a lot more fun. You never get disappointed. And if you do pull legendaries or grails, the excitement is even greater. Now, another thing I want to point out, you might get more value than what you spent. So sometimes you might lose money. Sometimes you might get a better value. You might spend on four premium packs and get like double grails or there's a chance that you might get nothing at all. So it's all based on luck. And that's why I love it so much because the excitement of pulling these redeemables is just out of the world. So I just want to mention, I did get four more premium packs. This time though, we're going to try opening up on the phone instead. I actually enjoy opening up on the phone more. I feel like it's more fun, but I do it more on the computer for you guys because I feel like it's more visually appealing when you watch it on YouTube. So that's why I've been doing it on the laptop instead. However, I personally do like to do it on the phone, but here it is. We have four more premium packs. We have volume on open. 
All right, so it looks like it's not on the blockchain yet. Refreshing it. Let's try again. There you go. All right, let's see our first card. We have a rare Princess Leia. Oh, it's kind of glitching. Common Chewbacca. That's the other thing about the phone. Common Han Solo. Common Wicket. Uncommon Wicket. It's better now. Yes, we have a legendary Palpatine. No way, we got a legendary Vader back to back. All right, we got a rare Yoda. We have a rare Wicket. Uncommon Luke. Uncommon Palpatine. Uncommon Stormtrooper. Rare Han Solo. Common Han Solo. Common Princess Leia. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. And an uncommon Yoda. That was insane. Two legendaries back to back. That's an awesome pack right there. All right. Another pack. All right, all right, let's do it. Reveal. We got a common Princess Leia. Common Princess Leia. Common Luke Skywalker. Common Yoda. Oh no. Uncommon Han Solo. Common Darth Vader. Common Lando. So many commons. Epic Palpatine. Epic Chewbacca. There you go. Common, I mean, uncommon. Epic Wicket. Uncommon Han Solo. Common Chewbacca, Common Palpatine, Uncommon Palpatine. Yes, we have another Legendary Vader. And then we got a rare Han Solo. All right. That's the kind of packs we want. That's the kind of packs we want. All right, reveal. We got a Common Wicket. It's glitching a little bit. Common Greedo. There you go. It's better. Uncommon Han Solo. We hit the Grail, Luke Skywalker. It would have been cool if it was 777, but that is the Grail. Common Yoda. Then we have Epic Greedo. Uncommon Luke Skywalker. Common Palpatine. Uncommon Jabba the Hutt. Rare Vader. Common Luke. Common Han Solo. Common C-3PO. Common Han Solo. Uncommon Jabba. Common Wicket. And Rare Stormtrooper. One pack left. Those three packs alone were better than the 12 we ripped open earlier. So that's exactly what I mean. It's all about luck. Doesn't matter how many rip open. It's just based on the luck that you have while you're ripping. Review. Got Common Princess Leia. Rare Princess Leia. Common Han Solo. Common Princess Leia. Common Boba Fett. Uncommon C-3PO. Uncommon Obi-Wan Kenobi. Common Chewbacca. Uncommon Jabba the Hutt. Rare Yoda. Common Boba Fett. Common Palpatine, Epic Obi-Wan, a Common Vader, Common Leia, Epic Boba Fett, and an Uncommon C-3PO. All right, that was awesome. Those final four packs absolutely killed it. I think we definitely made our value a lot better now. We're going to go ahead and see how we're doing. I'm actually going to go through everything right now, and I'm going to try to like work with all my cards and try to complete that royalty set because I feel like now we definitely can complete it. And then I think I got multiple Vaders. I think the only thing I'm missing is Palpatine. I mean, not Palpatine, C-3PO. So what I'll do, I have an extra Han Solo. I'll trade that Han Solo for C-3PO and then I'll be right back. So here we have my final results from all the packs I did open. I think we did pretty good. I got that royalty set completed. I also have four legendaries and the one grail. Now let's go and see what we have down here. I have the second world set 62.75%. I'm not even going for it though. I got rid of every single additional epic I had as well as all my duplicate legendaries. So down here you can see I have the legendary C-3PO, legendary Darth Vader, legendary Emperor Palpatine, and then finally the legendary Han Solo. And then of course we did pool that grail luke skywalker which did drop in price a little bit i think it's probably going to stay in the 175 200 area maybe drop to 150 ish but overall i do think we did end up doing pretty well with this drop so that's all i had for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you all for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content let me know in the comments below what are you guys thinking of funk pop digital set for star wars from today's video love to hear your thoughts overall on the set the redeemables and maybe share your favorite Redeemable, even if you're not a fan of this drop overall, which I know a lot of people did not like this set, but the packs were selling pretty fairly. I'm curious to see how many do get burned in the end. I'm estimating like 25% or so because the premiums are pretty close to selling out. Standards aren't selling as well. 
That looks like it's going to have a pretty big burn, maybe like 20,000 packs or so, but the premiums might sell out. Maybe a small burn, but overall, I did enjoy ripping open packs for the set. Definitely could have been miles better for redeemables, but overall, I love Star Wars. I couldn't miss out on this drop, especially for the fact I really did like the cards, and it all paid off. I did complete that master set. I'm definitely going to be redeeming the set. And once they arrive in hand in like eight months or however long it's going to take, I will share an unboxing on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, while we're speaking of Star Wars, I did want to share a recent grail I finally added to the collection. Before I do end this video, check it out. We got the 501st Clone Trooper. This pop is absolutely incredible. It's one that I've been wanting for my collection for a very long time. It is from San Diego Comic-Con of 2012 limited to only 480 pieces this pop is just beautiful i've always wanted in my collection finally have it check out the backside. it's actually in pretty mint condition too for its age so really happy to have it in my collection i would have loved to see like new clone troopers in the collection or pop digital or just characters we've never seen and like i said even if it was characters that we've seen definitely could have had some better molds released as new molds but overall i'm excited to see a series two in the future for star wars Hopefully then they won't be six inch pops and they can give us something better. But overall, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. Truly appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. If you have not yet, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join in on the fun. Let me know what you guys like in the next videos. Thank you all for watching and peace.